everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, I have had two neck fusions, and I have a rod in my spine. And I'm positive. I'm happy. And I just find joy in life. I find the joy in life. You know, people have asked me along the way, Michelle, how do you do it? How do you stay positive? After what you're going through and all the surgeries you've been, you're always happy you're always positive you're you're always just full of, full of joy and I am well a couple years ago oh you know I wasn't always like this uh, I can tell you that in the very beginning I'm like what is going on with me I would get bummed out because I'm hurting all the time you know just kind of a little depressed because it's like I can't get out of bed but a few years ago a friend of mine, a good friend of mine at the time, got cancer. And he, I was talking to him about it, and he said, you know, this is just a new way of life. And a light bulb went off in my head. And I'm like, a new way of life. That's the way I can look at my chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, all that stuff that I have going on, and I'm like, this is a new way of life. It is. It is for me. And I need to look at that that way too. I'm not the person that I was, you know, 20 years ago where I could just get up and do and go and, you know, get up at 4 a.m. to go to work, to go to come home, to just my house was clean. I'm not the same person. I don't have that energy. I don't have that energy level anymore. And I got, it's a new way of life. That got me thinking, you know, I need to accept this. I need to accept me for me. I need to accept me for the pain. I need to expect, accept me for being just daggone tired all the time. And those of you that don't have chronic fatigue, it, let me tell you, chronic fatigue, this is just another, another level of tired, just another level of exhaustion. So I started... That's the way I started thinking. It's a new way of life, and I need to find joy. I need to find joy in everything I do, everything I do. So as I'm laying in bed one day, I'm like, okay, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to accept that I have to stay in bed today and not get bummed out about it. And you know, when you do that, your stress level comes down a little bit. You're not angry with yourself. You're not questioning, God, why am I, why, why, why am I laying in this bed? I don't want to lay in this bed. Just accept it. I've just accepted it along the way. I've accepted my fibromyalgia and my aching. And I've accepted that, you know what, I am not the same person I used to be. This is what I can do now. And I'm going to be happy with what I can do today happy with what I can do today even if it's just getting up and getting dressed if that's all I can do for that day I'm going to accept that and I'm going to be happy with that because tomorrow is going to be a new day and maybe I'll be able to get something done and maybe I won't you know just accept the way you are and that and find joy in that find joy in that another thing that really, really helped me. My job for the past 10 years has been with handicapped people. People in wheelchairs, deaf people, people that can't walk, people that can't talk, people that have limited mobility that need assistance most of the time. And if you ask them, how are you doing today? They will say, Today's a good day. Nothing going on today. It's beautiful outside. And it's like, you know, I need to start thinking that way. I need to start thinking that way. And I did. I thought, you know, as much as I hurt, they're hurting worse than me. There's always somebody else in the world hurting worse than you. But with my job, I got to see it. I got to see it. I'm not in a wheelchair. I don't need assistance all the time to walk. Sometimes I need assistance to walk, but not, not all the time. I'm healthy, and I'm okay. And I'm going to accept this, what God has given me, 
and find joy in it, find the peace in it. And that's what I've done. That's what I've done through the years. So I know like this weekend, for instance, I was exhausted. Chronic fatigue, the weather is changing outside and all of you know, oh, there goes my dog. Macy, Macy, get down. Go lay down. Sorry about that. And all of you know that when, okay, we're not gonna do this right now. No, there's my dog. Okay. And all of you know that when the weather changes, it, it's rainy one day, it's 60 degrees one day, it's 30 degrees one day. That's what we're going through in Ohio right now. And all of you know what that does to fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. Well, guess what? I was exhausted, exhausted. I got up Saturday morning and I edited a video and I tried to get dressed and I looked at my husband and said, I'm done. I can't do anymore. I just can't do anymore. I'm, I'm so, I have to go to bed. And he said, okay, go ahead. So I did. I went to bed and I slept all day. I slept all day Saturday. Wake up on and off, but I would fall asleep just back to sleep like this. And I'm like, what is going on? I slept all Saturday night. Sunday morning, I got up and I did just a little bit around the house, what, you know, just a little bit. And I'm like, I have to go back to bed. Oh my gosh. It was like noon. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go back to bed. I have to go back to bed. So I did. And I slept all Sunday, just waking up a few times. And then I slept all Sunday night, Monday morning. Today's Monday. I woke up and I'm like, I think I'm okay today. Thank God I'm okay today. But you know what? When I was laying in bed, when I wasn't sleeping, I'm thinking, this is where I need to be, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with today staying in bed because this is what I have to do for me, and this is what I need to do. So find joy. Find joy in, in what's going on with your life, and understand that this is where God wants you. This is where you need to be. And be there, be in the moment, and accept it, embrace it, and sleep if you need to. Sit down if you need to. Let the dishes go. Let things go in the house because you know what? They'll be there tomorrow. And if you're feeling better tomorrow, just do them tomorrow. And be joyful doing your dishes because guess what? You're not in bed. All right. Well, if you like my video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.